Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I am going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton Keeple today. And I know, you know, it's such an iconic bag. Everyone knows about it. So it's kind of like, well, what kind of content can I be adding? I did a bit of background research and I realized that a lot of people um, do talk about the Keeple, but they're usually referring to the canvas Keeple. And what I purchased is the leather version. So today's video is going to be a kind of mini comparison between the uh, canvas keeple and the leather one and kind of my thoughts and impressions on why I prefer the leather one and why I think it's the better one to go for. So this video is going to be perfect for those of you that have been on the market um, considering or thinking about getting um, a keeple and you've been wanting one and you're saving up and you're like oh I don't know if I should go for the leather one or the canvas one. Um, so yeah if you if that's something that sounds interesting to you definitely please keep on watching. So this one, full disclosure, I got it uh, secondhand or pre-loved, whatever you want to call it. And I have no shame in that because I think that it's really, really good value for money, especially in my situation at the moment where I am kind of pouring money into my business. So uh, for those of you that don't know, recently I quit my job, so I don't work um, for anybody anymore. And I went and started my own business. So I am working for myself. And so for me, I require a lot of money to be reinvested into the business so that the business can grow and develop. And so I am running on a really, really tight budget at the moment. So I have no shame in buying pre-loved. And I think actually a lot of people should buy pre-loved because it's such good value for money. And I will talk about where I got this and, um, you know, my thoughts on uh, the vendor as well, the seller. Um, and I, I love the company. I've bought from them many, many times before. So normally I do take away the cardboard box, but because um, I want to show you the pre-loved experience as well, I'm going to show you kind of everything. This particular item, this is what you get um, when you purchase it, uh, you know, the standard kind of shipping box. I bought this on the Friday and it arrived on the Monday, so it was really, really quick. And so it's kind of the same as what you get, say, from like Matches Fashion, Net-A-Porter, whatever of those kind of big name brand shops that you buy from. It's the same kind of style. You open up the box and I'm gonna do that with you open up the box and then you get you know the standard tissue paper offering um, again just like any of those big name big name big name oh god um, any of those big name uh, shops like matches fashion and stuff like that you get um, the receipt so the company that I bought this from is called Lux it forward I absolutely adore them. They have incredible stock. They are Australian based. Um, and so it's, I, I think it's amazing. I've purchased from them a number of times and you know, they take the effort as short it is, as short as it is, they take the effort to kind of write um, like a handwritten thank you note, which is really nice. You get the receipt in there. I'll talk about the price in um, just a moment, but I'm just gonna pop the receipt there. So you get tissue paper. And then you unwrap it and you get, oh, the bag. So obviously from this point on, whatever um, the person who sold the bag to Luxit Forward, whatever they have, whatever, whatever packaging they have, is what you're gonna get. So when I sold a couple of my bags to Luxit Forward, I included the Louis Vuitton box, the Louis Vuitton um, materials tab, um, and everything like that. Um, so whoever bought my bags would have gotten all of that stuff. This particular person only gave Luxit Forward the dust bag. And so from this point, I don't have the box. I don't have a shopping bag. I only have the dust bag. Now, obviously, if the person who sold this bag to Luxit Forward didn't even have a dust bag, you would get a Luxit Forward dust bag. So um, those of you who saw my Chanel unboxing, um, which I also got from Luxit Forward, I will link it down um, in the description box below. You will see that I have a Luxit Forward dust bag, um, which is a really good quality dust bag. Anyways, okay, I'm really excited to reveal to you guys my most recent purchase the Louis Vuitton Keeple, but in the all leather version and in the ink watercolor. Oh, it is absolutely 
splendid. Oh my god, guys. I think it's so, so beautiful. Um, and this design is actually one of the pros that I'm going to talk about as to why I prefer the leather version, but I will go over that um, in just a little bit. So just like Matches Fashion, net a porte or whatever, um, they have a returns label where if you cut this off, you cannot return it anymore. There is a 14 day return policy, but that is only for handbags, jewelry and watches. You do not get um, a change of mind return. So in 14 days, if I change my mind, I can return this provided that I don't cut this off. Okay guys. So, in this particular um, item, I will give you guys the wraparound and the details. This person provided the whole package. So there is the, uh, the handle kind of um, strap, the luggage tag, and then also you get, or I got, the strap as well. Now obviously if the person who gave it to Luxor Forward didn't have the luggage tag, for example, or the strap, then Luxit Forward can't give you that as well. But again, that's not an indication of Luxit Forward's service or quality. Um, it's just how the pre-loved market works. So it is in the silver hardware in the navy blue with the ink watercolor, um, Louis Vuitton uh, kind of like mini monogram. And this is the Keyball 40 and it is the all leather version. And okay, so now that you know what the bag is, I'm just gonna pop it like kind of up here so you guys can um, be having some eye candy to look at while I talk about it. So, oof, just gonna turn it there. All right. So like I said, one of the big reasons for me why I prefer the leather version is the design. With the monogram, you are very limited in your choices in terms of getting something that is unique and something that's special. There have been a few monogram versions of limited editions, such as the Catagram, um, the uh, World Travel limited editions with the little labels and stuff, but that's kind of it. There isn't really anything else in terms of the monogram canvas. Um, where you can get uh, a limited edition. That's the ice cream truck. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Um, okay, so with the leather version, um, you obviously have the classic leathers. You've got the tiger, um, it, the type of leather, which is generally tiger leather, and then you've got the classic monogram, you've got the monogram um, empreinte, um, and you know, the epi leather, etc. What I really love with the leather version is every single season you get a different style. And they're not, they are, I guess, limited edition because they're only available for that season. But with unlike the canvas, every single season is something special. Whereas with the canvas, it truly is limited edition. Maybe like once a year or once every two years are they gonna come out with some sort of twist on the monogram canvas. So with the leather, as you can see, it's um, pure leather and you have this really incredible um, ink watercolor pattern to it. Um, and then, you know, the next season there's gonna be something different on the leather and then the next season after that is something different. With the canvas, you do have a lot of the option of like having the strip in leather. I know that there's one currently um, in the red, the red leather, um, but then the rest of it is in the monogram canvas. So if that's kind of what floats your boat, definitely go for it. But I like something that's very unique. And to me, fashion is about expressing individuality and personality. So the ability to be able to pick one that really speaks to how I am as a person and to really kind of showcase my uniqueness as a human being, I really definitely prefer the leather version. So the next point on why I prefer the leather version is the texture and feel and quality of the product. With the canvas version, if you've bought a Keeple, you will know this, or a Speedy or whatever it is, the canvas one comes folded. They fold it in here and they fold it down. I don't want to do it to the leather one because the leather ones do not get folded. They come um, as, as structured, right? Um, and so what happens when you purchase a canvas one is you get crease marks that really never go away. I had a Speedy and I had a Keeple. I bought, if you recall, the limited edition um, canvas Keeple from the Spring Summer 2019 collection of the men's, which with the orange chain, which was Virgil Abloh's uh, very first collection as the men's director for Louis Vuitton. That 
didn't come completely folded, but it, it was folded and there were crease marks. And after a year and a half, there were still crease marks that you can't really ever um, make it go away unless you truly stuff your bag um, so that it kind of stretches out the canvas and it kind of stretches the crease mark out. But I don't like doing that to my bags. I like to kind of keep my bags in a very natural looking shape, you know, a little bit slouched, um, a little bit relaxed. Um, so to me, that really bothers me. If it doesn't bother you, of course, that's totally fine. And again, these are just my opinions and my my personal take on why I prefer the leather version. Yeah, so that's one point. The, the crease marks and the way that it comes from the factory, it's folded, you're never really gonna get that out. And then on top of that, the texture and feel as well. So with um, canvas, uh, I'm sure, you know, a lot of you have probably gone into store or might even own canvas bags from Louis Vuitton. It does feel very plasticky. It feels very, um, if, yeah, it's like, we all know how the cotton canvas Canvas, the coated canvas of Louis Vuitton feels, right? It's not bad. I have a pochette Matisse. I have other monogram coated canvas bags. So I don't have any issue with that. At the moment, I'm talking in a specific comparison between the canvas and the leather. And so in that kind of comparison, I definitely prefer the texture and feel of the leather because the weight is not that much different. The coated canvas from, Mono, uh, from Louis Vuitton is a very good quality. It's triple canvas coated. And so in terms of weight, and craftsmanship, it's almost it's it's almost one on one to one. It's almost the same. So if you're worried about weight, I don't really think you should let that be the deciding factor. Um, uh, what more for me is the way that it feels. Um, yes, the handles are leather on the um, monogram canvas anyway, um, so you don't really have to worry about that. And that's probably where you're going to be holding the bag the most. But in terms of the way that it looks. And in terms of the way that it feels when you kind of pick up the bag and you're touching it, the leather is just so much nicer. And I'm sure we can all agree um, that when it comes to leather and canvas, leather should feel the more premium material. And so that's why to me, I really absolutely love um, the leather and I prefer the leather versions over the canvas bags. Now, the third reason for me as to why I prefer the leather version is because um, with the strips here with where the handles are attached um, and the handle itself on the monogram canvas, um, especially if you get the classic one, which is the, you know, the unedited one with just the canvas. This is um, the untreated leather. It's the Vachetta leather. Um, and that Vachetta leather um, uh, will patina, which is a process where the natural oils in your hands, um, the oxygen and the air, uh, the oxygen in the air, and all the combination of the environment will make this leather go brown and go dirty. Um, I have my Louis Vuitton um, pochette Matisse. I've got the monogram canvas um, rolling luggage. I don't remember what it's called. Um, the Horizon, the Horizon 55. Um, that all has the Fachetta leather. Every, the handle has gone brown on, on all of my canvas products. Um, this, this part on, you know, every, even when I don't touch it, this part will go brown as well. Some people love that because it's the natural aging of the leather and it, it really gives your product personality. Um, and that's kind of how I think about it as well. So with my pochette Matisse, for example, the fact that it's gone brown and black, I don't mind because it shows use, it shows life, you know, same with my horizon, the dirtiness, the marks, the, the, the patina, the browning of that um, once beautiful light cream leather that has now gone dirty brown. I don't mind because it shows I've traveled with it. I've used it. It's grown with me, right? It really kind of, it makes it mine. Some people get really bothered about that. Even though I don't get bothered about that, again, in a direct comparison between the leather and the canvas, I definitely prefer the leather version because this is treated leather. Um, and so it's not going to go brown. I mean, it will obviously discolor just as any leather bags do. So for example, in the corners, you'll have, you know, like wear and tear, but that's different to patina. Patina. And now the final point as to why I prefer the leather version is the price. So on Luxor Forward, this, uh, I believe this was a 20, 
20 design. Um, so this is about two years old, I believe, or one and a half years old. I purchased this for secondhand for $2,700. Original price, this was $5,200. So I got this for almost 50% off. And on top of that, it is practically brand spanking new. I am looking at this and there is not a single indication of wear and tear. The hardware is not scratched at all. The leather is almost utter perfection. I cannot see any wear and tear. The handle also not a single scratch anywhere. The corners, which is usually where the most wear and tear is, is seen. Absolutely zero wear and tear. I'll show you guys in the light. It is zero wear and tear. Absolutely zero wear and tear. And the base as well, because it has no feet, um, generally that has a lot of wear and tear and scratches because this is where it touches the surface, the ground, the table, whatever it is, the chair. Zero, zero wear and tear. So I got this pretty much brand new, practically brand new for 50% off. So that's kind of the perk of buying secondhand. But when I'm talking about a decision to buy, buy brand new from uh, from the store, the price of a Louis Vuitton cotton can coated canvas um, keeper or speedy or whatever it is, you're looking generally at the moment of about $3,000. And then the leather version, depending on what kind of style you get, so maybe if you get kind of like the less intricate ones where it's like just like a colored leather, for example, or whatever, you're looking at about 4,200, maybe 4,500. And then obviously with the more special ones with the print and the special techniques of the inking, for example, in this one, it's a very special water inking technology um, and the way in which they applied the monogram and, and applied the print. Um, the paint, this is 5,200. So obviously, depending on the style and the design that you get for the leather, it can go up in price because different, um, uh, higher, more, more complicated uh, technology and craftsmanship goes into it. But if you kind of get just the, the full leather um, in a particular color or something that's not too complicated, you're only looking at about a thousand, maybe $1,500 more than the canvas. But you're, so yes, that is definitely potentially like a really big factor. But if you're looking at it numerically, you're not paying that much more. You're only paying approximately a thousand dollars more and you're getting so much more out of it. Um, at least in my opinion, I think you get so much more out of it. And that's, that's brand new, right? When you're looking at secondhand or looking at pre-loved, the value for a leather one is even more pronounced because with the coated canvas, because they are so classic, they are literally the staple, one of the staple lines in Louis Vuitton, right? It's never going to be um, discontinued, at least we don't think. I mean, I can't see why. It's never, it's never changing. Like you can, like one from 2005 is going to be the same design as from 2022. It's never going to change, right? And because of that longevity, because of that classic nature to it, the pre-loved pricing stays quite high. Um, so uh, for a pre-loved Keeple 40 bandolier, you've got maybe like from $3,000, it'll probably go down to about $2,200, $2,300, maybe $1,900 if there's a little bit wear and tear, depending on how many years old it is, right? And then with the pre-loved leather versions, because every single season it changes, and so like unlike, it, it doesn't have a classic nature to it. And so seasonal items, as I'm sure you all might know, all my luxury lovers out there will probably know this, seasonal items do not keep their value. And so because the leather versions are always seasonal, every season they come out with a different one, they do not hold their value. So if you buy pre-loved, you can get a deal like this from 5,200 down to 2,700. Whereas with the equivalent coated canvas one, you're going from 31, 3,200 down to 2,200, 2,300 for a two-year-old one. And that 
means there's only a price difference of about two to three hundred dollars. So that value proposition for a full leather one is even more significant. So I do highly, highly recommend going pre-loved. And if you don't go pre-loved, brand new or pre-loved, totally up to you. But I do, I always go for the full leather version. That's, <laughs> those are my thoughts. Um, if you guys disagree, I would actually love to hear why you guys disagree. Um, sound off in the comments below. Let me know why you prefer a coated canvas. Would that be durability, longevity, potentially? Think, whatever you prefer, your, your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested um, to hear about it. Yeah, <laughs> let me... Um, let me know if there's also any kind of like video suggestions or feedback as well. Sound off in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Done. All right. So now I need to... Okay, now I... <laughs> Woo. All right. I am done.